Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. How are you guys today? I hope you're awesome. I'm very excited because I got to do something that I used to do all the time when I was younger and I literally haven't done probably in 15 years. Every year they do a couple different like convention type shows in our area and one of them is the Southern Christmas Show. It is something that my mother and I did all the time. We used to live pretty near the convention center and so it was just like a normal thing for us to go over there. The elementary school that I went to actually was directly across the street and so they would do like a fundraiser where they would park cars and stuff for those type of events. So it was just something that I grew up doing and then we moved to like clear across the other side of town and life just started getting crazier and things like that and so we really stopped going and I've missed it a ton. So when we moved back last year, I wanted to go but I was working all the time and this was really the first year that I felt like in a long time that I had the ability to go. Well, we made the decision that we wanted to go. My mom was out of town. We, we chose a date that we thought would work for everybody and one of her friends um, suggested that we do it on this particular day so we got to go and I was very excited. And uh, I really wasn't sure what to expect because the last time I went I was like 10 and now I'm 25 and a full grown adult with my own credit card and the ability to spend money. So I was thinking like, yeah, maybe I'll pick up some stuff. There was a couple wineries there that only sell like seasonal wines that I can't get regularly that I knew I wanted to pick up. And I wound up spending like $400. So a couple things that I got I cannot show you because they are Christmas presents. I got a present for my mom, my dad, and then a couple for Nikki, so I can't show you guys that. Obviously, I don't want to spoil it for them, but I can show you guys what I picked up for myself. I bought a lot of stuff for myself, so there's a lot to see. Um, so the first thing I'm going to jump into is the Estee Lauder Holiday Bundle Kit. It's something Estee Lauder does every year, and they have been doing it for years. Basically, it is a very large sample kit. This is what you get inside of this particular sample kit and you pay $70 but you also have to pay, you have to buy a product to qualify for it as well. You have to spend at least $45 in other Estee Lauder products in order to qualify for it. So I made the decision to pick up the beautiful Bell fragrance from them. It is a limited time fragrance. They do obviously do the three sizes. I opted to get the smallest size. It smells incredibly good. It's so one of those things I was looking at a bunch of different products and I was talking to the um, sales associate who was wonderful and she was kind of like, well, I mean, the skincare is always going to be here. Everything else is always going to be here. This is a limited time fragrance and uh, once it's gone, it's gone. So that kind of sealed my decision in, in getting this one. I did get the smallest size. Normally I go for the biggest size, but the smallest size with the coupon was like $60. And then with that on top of it, I still spent like $130. So I went ahead and made the decision to just get the smallest size. I have a ton of perfumes, so it's not like I feel like I'm going to run out of it very quickly. But I did get that, and then I did get, they gave us this nice little box that we weren't expecting as they were like bagging everything up, and so we went home and opened it, and it's literally like, it's a sample size of the fragrance we got, and then a card about it. So it's just a lot of wasted packaging in my opinion, but like I also got a sample size, so. Cool. But anyway, we'll jump into the kit itself. Uh, so the makeup look that you are staring at on my face, the eyes, the lips, and the like highlighter and the cheek color, they all came from things in this particular bundle. You will get to see the tutorial on that tomorrow. Honestly, I feel like the skincare and stuff that you get in this bag, the bag itself kind of makes it worthwhile. The makeup is just kind of extra. Um, the palettes are not some of my favorites, if I'm being 100% honest. They're, some of the colors were a little bit harder to work with. There's like a lot of shimmer shades. The blush didn't have a great payoff, but overall, I mean, I think it's still worth the $70 value just because you do get quite a good deal of stuff in here. <laughs> this is what it looks like. This is everything that you get. Now this right here, their Advanced Night Serum, it is really, really quality stuff. I've gotten quite a few sample sizes in it from different kits and stuff, different free gifts. I really genuinely like it and that that is a full size of it and that is a $70 value in itself. So really when you put it in perspective that way, the kit itself is a really good deal then because if you're gonna buy that serum anyway, you might as well just go ahead and buy the kit. So you do get a good amount of stuff with it. You get three lip colors, two lip glosses, two palettes, a mascara, a makeup remover that is full size, that advanced night repair that is full size, and then you get a very generous sample. I would call it more of like a deluxe size because it is definitely bigger than the normal sample size. The advanced night repair eye cream and then the um, Revitalizing Supreme Plus Cell Power Cream. So you get a ton of stuff in it, plus you get this really beautiful big briefcase type carrying case, which you guys know I love my makeup bag, so that is a huge selling point for me. It did have this really nice feature of like the different card suits on it, which I love. I don't know why, but I've always loved like 
card decks and the different suits and all the stuff like that. So seeing this bag, I really was like, love it. I'm very into the bag. And because I haven't gotten one in, I think the last time I got one, I was like, 13 or so and my mom gave it to me for Christmas so I have not gotten one as an adult who's really into makeup who like takes makeup seriously so I did like getting it and kind of playing with it and seeing like what I've been missing out on if I feel like I've missed out on a lot not really if I'm being honest but you know I do like I do like the fact that I got this get set and uh it was cool it was a very nice little thing so you'll get to see the in-depth and me talk more about it tomorrow but I did want to go over it because that was one of the biggest things that I purchased now the bonus feature of buying it at one of these type convention shows is that a lot of times they throw in extra incentive gifts that you don't normally get with like purchasing online or going into Belkson store or anywhere else and so this one was if you spent $75 at the show which obviously buying this kit is $70 and then you have to spend $45 so you're gonna if you're gonna get the kit you're definitely gonna qualify for this you got this little free carrying case and inside this free carrying case, which you guys can tell the carrying case is something that's right up my alley anyway, because it's just such a nice size, really, really adorable. And inside of it, you get three mini cases and inside the mini cases, they have little avocados. They're so cute. I never felt so white and basic in my whole life, but I was like, it's an avocado thing. It's great, it's great. Uh, but they're adorable, so I was like hardcore into that. You also get, with this particular free gift, you get another one of the mascaras and then two more lipsticks. The lipstick shades are pretty neutral, if I recall. That one, which is like kind of a little red-orange coral color. And then you get this one, which is like a glitter bronze shade. So really cool, unique colors. Not anything like what you're getting in the big kit either. So I did really like that. So that was what I picked up from Estee Lauder. Like I said, that was about $130 there. But because I haven't picked up one in forever and because I knew I could give you guys a decent review about it, then I was pretty okay doing it. I really didn't intend on spending that much money on myself, but you know what? You do what you do sometimes and you just gotta say, okay. Okay, the next thing that we picked up is something I, probably the, the second most exciting thing for me in terms of the day. I did not buy this purchase or I did not spend money here my mother did she got six because if you bought six of these um you got a discounted price so she bought three for herself and three for me but this i honest to god i saw this on the list of vendors and i was like i have to go talk to them because you guys know how obsessed with epsom salts i am my mom is we take baths every day not together that would be weird but we take individually we take our baths every day because it really has just helped us so much it helps with pretty much everything digestion you know, swelling, pain, all of that. And whether or not you believe in it, that's fine. You don't have to, but for me, it has personally changed my life. So it is a very big factor in my life. And I definitely wanted to reach out to this table when I saw that they were going to be there. Cause I was like, huh, let me figure out what this is. Well, ironically enough, I was walking up to the table and the very lovely owner, she actually pulled me aside and was like, oh my God, I love your makeup. And so when we started talking and then she subscribed to the page and I'm not sure how people are about saying names on the internet. I don't like doing that if you're not comfortable with it. So I'm not going to give you guys her name, but her company name is Salt Soothers. She's incredible. We talked for like 20 minutes. She's amazing. And her products are also amazing. I really wanted to test it before I actually talked about it so I could be like, hey, this is really, really cool. And it is. I took a bath yesterday and today using them. I really like them. The, the nice thing about the salt soothers is they are not like Epsom salts. Epsom salts, they do have a lot of manufactured chemicals and products in it. That is part of it. For me, it's still worthwhile to use them because I do feel such a significant, you know, release in my swelling and my pain from standing my feet and stuff at work. But it definitely is better to use organic if you can. And this is basically what this is. These are all natural ingredients that she makes by herself um, every day. They have a pretty decent sized little operation going on. They don't have a storefront, but if you look up Salt Soothers on Facebook, it will lead you to their website and their website, um, you actually can purchase and get it shipped to you. So honestly, really, really loved the products. They had a ton of different really nice smelling fragrances. I didn't smell one that I wouldn't be happy taking a bath in, but this Blue Lagoon is my favorite. It's just like a very clean smelling, like just very refreshing. And that's what it looks like inside. And the nice thing about this is with the Epsom salt baths, they recommend you take a bath in two cups of Epsom salt, so it's a lot. This, the uh, recommended size for a bath is one fourth cup. So it's a smaller container, yes, but it is going to last you probably longer just because you're using a significant, uh, significantly less than what you would need to. So 
she was incredible. Salt Caesar was great. My mom loves them too. Uh, she she opted to get, I got Blue Lagoon and I think she got Butt Naked, I think is the one that she got, which is more of like a florally, it's, it's kind of florally with citrus in it is what it reminded me of. It smelled delicious, don't get me wrong. I just really like clean scented stuff more. So I was big into the Blue Lagoon. And then my amazing new friend also threw in a very nice bag with it. So I was like, heck yeah. So if we go back Sunday, we're going to go back and I think we'll probably both buy six more because <laughs> because we have a problem. We take a lot of baths. So yeah, but uh, definitely look her up. She is amazing. And like I said, the products are amazing. Um, they are going to be a little bit more pricey than a um, an Epsom salt bag from like Target or something like that. But you're, you're getting homemade quality materials from a small business and I'm all about supporting small businesses. So definitely check out her page. So the next one, and I'm kicking myself because I did not grab her business card and I should have so I could say her name. Um, but I actually, this is the first thing I purchased. I purchased this with the intention of it hanging right here. If you guys can't tell what it is, it is an angel, um, which of course like, you know, that's our whole thing is like dark angel. So uh, I saw these and they are handmade. They are made out of wax and tie dye. So everything she does, I actually talked to her daughter, her daughter, her mom was taking a break, but it's um, her mother is the one who makes them. She hand makes everything and basically you could buy prints of them, which were going to be significantly cheaper. But if you got something that was framed, this is one of a kind. Nobody else has this, which I'm very into individuality and uniqueness and expressing yourself. So I was like, I want something that nobody else has. So that is why I decided to purchase this. This beautiful little picture in the frame was only like after tax, $37. I think it was $35 before tax. And I really was like, it's going to look so pretty if we hang it right here, as long as it doesn't reflect light too badly. But yeah, so I got that with the intention of hanging it in that really nice uh, open spot behind the other side of my head. So I got that. And then the last thing that I bought for myself and for people to share with me, because I don't want to drink alone, is a whole bunch of wine, just a lot of wine. So basically, the show, they have an entire section of like, it's like a whole like winding hallway room type thing of just wineries that are come from the local areas. I think most of them are North Carolina based. Some of them might come from South Carolina, but they're pretty much like really close local wineries that purchase these, um, these booths and these stands there. And then you can go and they'll bring, you know, cases of stuff so you can purchase there. You can sample things. And I'm not a huge wine drinker, if I'm being honest. I really am much more of a beer drinker. Uh, beer and tequila and vodka are really what I go for normally. I knew I wanted to find one particular winery. And that winery is Weathervane. The reason I knew I wanted to find them was because last year my mother was gifted some of the Blushing Santa for Christmas. She saved it. And then like mid-June, she was like, I'm gonna have a glass of this. And Nikki and I were sitting at the kitchen table talking to her. And so we were like, all right, we'll have some too. I don't like wine and I don't like red wine normally, but that is like the best wine. I have ever tried and we were like oh my god can we get more of this so I'm googling it and of course it's seasonal so I was like dang so we knew we had to wait it is not technically a red wine it is a sangria so it is a very like fruity tasting wine but it's just very drinkable it's only seven percent alcohol content so that's probably why it's not super hard to drink it it's not as abrasive of some other wines and I'm not really a dry wine drinker so this is like right up my alley well, so I've, I've, you know, I'm meandering around. I'm sampling other wines. I bought some other wines that we'll talk about in a minute. But I make it to Weathervane. The lovely lady who was helping me was like, have you tried our Santa Sweetie? And I was like, I have not. And then I tried that and it's it tastes like cheer wine. And I was like, oh my God, I like this more. But I was trying to, like, my mom can't drink right now because of the AIP diet that she's on. So she can't drink at all right now. But whenever she gets to a place where she's happy with her weight and we can, she can start kind of infiltrating foods back, she wanted to have one of these bottles of wine to celebrate. So I knew I was getting at least one of those. Should have bought only one of these and then I bought like five of these, but I did not. I bought three of each because I got a discount. I got 10% off if I bought six. So I was gone by six. So I spent $80 in wine just with them, but it's definitely worth it. Honestly, these are wines that you can't get year round. They will be gone by December 1st. So I was like, I got to stock up and I probably should have stocked up more because I know how I like to drink. But um, I figured these will be like special occasion wines. So I'm saving one of the Santa Sweeties for my birthday and I'll let Nikki, we'll open one up and Nikki can try and decide which one he wants to save for his birthday. And then we'll just, you know, sporadically drink around. And the final thing that I got, two more wines. I only bought one of each of these and these were more expensive. These were $16 a bottle. So I paid like 30, um, I paid like 
34 or so after tax, I think. But these are really good too. This is uh, Shadow Spring Springs Vineyard. This is their tinsel and their first flakes. Totally different wines. This is a red wine. This is a white wine. Both are incredibly drinkable, super refreshing, very sweet, but not in an overwhelming, like make you nauseous type way. And both of these are 12% alcohol content. So they're a lot higher in alcohol content. So they're more likely to get you a little tipsy. I really like them. And honestly, I tested a couple wines at other places. There were vineyards I didn't even stop by because I was like, I'm going to want to buy every single one of them. So if we go back, I'll probably try some of the other vineyards out as well. And I may pick up a couple more just because I really have decided these Christmas these Christmas special wines are ones that I like a lot more because they're just more along my style. Okay, so I really want to show you guys the other things that I picked up at the show because they're adorable and they're really, really cool and there's some really great like handcrafted, you know, worksmanship that I was able to purchase. And I think that's what's so great about these shows is you really get a chance to get one-on-one -on -one with people who are using their skills to make products that people want and they are really small scale so they might not be out there as much as some of the bigger companies are. These are people who are doing what they're passionate about and they're making really cool things and really beautiful things and they're coming and sharing it with you and that's what I do with this channel. That's what Nikki does with this channel. So I'm very inclined to support that kind of uh, an artist and local businesses and things like that. So I highly suggest, I don't know where you are located, um, but I would think that most places probably have something similar, a vendor show or something like that. If you have the ability to go to one, I would really suggest doing it. You get a lot of really cool things. You get to see a lot of really cool things. The decorations and stuff are beautiful, but it just really gets you into the Christmas spirit. And then you also get to support some really awesome local businesses if you decide to buy from them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it was a really fun haul because it's very different from anything that I do normally. I got to talk about people who I got to meet and the businesses and the things that they um, they do for a living. So that was really cool as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the page yet, please do so. We want you to be part of the Dark Angel family. We're really cool here and we like are really supportive and we love you and you know we want to grow with you and you grow with us and just be a big supportive loving youtube family so join and hit the notification bell so you see every time i ramble about things that i spend my money on yeah and as always i hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist